What's up, blues and blue decks? Hope you don't mind. I brought some popcorn because I like popcorn. Y'all don't think this is real cheese, do you? I always feel like when it says white cheddar, it's probably fake because you know I don't eat dairy. So that's like the way I justify it because I just assume it's genetically modified cheese or something. So anyway, today I'm going to go get ready to go look at Ferraris. It's not for me. Okay. I'm not getting no Ferrari. I don't know what kind of money y'all think Jackie Anna got. Not Ferrari money. But today we're going to go look because, I don't know, it's some event. My friends invited me to it. Me and Dennis are going to go double date, double date, double date, stop the hate. So I was like, cool, all right, cute, whatever. I don't really care for Ferraris. They're like not that cool. Maybe when you don't have money for them, you just don't think they're as cool. Maybe, I don't know, maybe that's where it is. You lose interest in things. You just, I don't know. Anyway, so I'm masking. This is my lab coast mask. And we looking nice and fresh and supple. This is actually one of my favorite masks. I'm going to toss this. BRB, BRB. I'm right here. I'm right here. Oh, don't move. I'm still here. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I hate when I'm watching someone's live stream. And then doing the two minutes of like, hey guys, hey, what? like, okay, we get it. Like, we get it, you know? But hey guys, how you doing? Hope you guys are having a bad day. This is like my first real official stream on YouTube. It's kind of cool. Kind of into it. I cannot read these comments because these comments are best. The comments are doing a lot again, as usual. So right now I'm just rubbing in like the extra serum for the mask because you know masks are basically serum so I'm rubbing in the excess into my skin and it's the aloe one from Lapcoast. If you are just joining the stream and you miss any of the products this will be available on my channel so don't worry you'll be able to like rewatch it later on and all that good stuff. I'm gonna hydrate my skin with the water cream from Tatcha. I'm filming this on my computer so we are unfortunately on not the best camera quality. You know what? I got to figure out these people who be doing like live streaming, but it's like connected to a camera. I don't know how the whole people be doing it, but I'm going to figure that out. I'm gonna, and I'm going to give you guys high quality streams in the future. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And by the way, oh my God, these comments, I can't. How are y'all? What? What in the world? Okay. Um, if people are spamming, like, what the heck? Oh, it's showing me what comments I can hide. Okay, good, because I see people like advertising services. Please don't, please do not advertise. This is not Craigslist. Okay, it's not a quick way for you to get customers. We're here to learn about makeup. Thank you. So. Anyway, I'm hydrating my skin with the Tata water cream because I wanted something lightweight. It is just about, what time is it? 5, 30, 5.40. So it's going to be dark soon, hence why I didn't throw on SPF. Normally, if this was during the day, I would do an SPF. Let me show y'all what I'm wearing. <sighs> so it's a repeat offender. This is actually my birthday dress from... I think it was last year. It's a cute little blazer dress from Balmisha, Balmisha, AKA Balmain. And um, when you spend that much money on a fashion piece, especially something like a black blazer dress, it's pretty basic. You can rewear it. I'm gonna like restyle it. I'm probably gonna like belt it. I'm gonna snatch it at the waist, you know? But you can do that, you know, when you, have like some of your expensive pieces and just like repurpose them. I'm definitely repeat offender. I don't care if you saw it on me last week. Tomorrow, I don't care. I bought it. I'm going to do what I want with it. And that's that. Okay. So there's that. So we're going to prime. I'm going to be using Born this way. So I'm going to prime. All right. Not going to work. This is Hangover Primer. I'm not hungover, but you know, I appreciate how this primer is like skincare. I remember when I used to be like obsessed with like matte dry primers, milk of magnesia. I was such a, a weirdo man. Like, why was I putting milk of magnesia on my skin? If you're still doing that, I'm here to tell you you should stop. 
Stop. Because it's not very good for your skin. I'm just saying. Just saying. Oh. My skin feels hydrated and refreshed, sis. And that primer, I think you can use when you're not even wearing makeup. So, you know, all for getting our money's worth out of products. I'm going to hydrate my lips. I always do that before I start on foundation. So I'm going to use my coconut. You can't see anything. These lights are too. Hold on. Let me see if I can turn these down a little bit. Just a little shiny, shiny. Didn't help. Okay, I was gonna tap on the screen, you know, like when you're on Instagram Live and you want to brighten things. Yeah, that's not gonna work. So, um, yeah, it's a fresh sugar coconut lip balm. You can use any lip balm; it really doesn't matter. Just use whatever the hell you want. It's not that deep, you know. It's just a balm. I have my favorites. Jack Black and Fresh make my favorite lip balms. Actually, Fresh makes my favorite lip care products. You guys, I used to have. Oh, I still kind of have it, but there's a scar on my lip here from like, I like to bite my lip or whatever. And that sugar lip wonder drops or whatever it's called, it's like a, a AHA for your lips. It's like a peel for your lips, bomb.com. Like all the little like raised skin I used to get from that scar just completely went away. For those of you guys that ask what my body care routine, it's here. Just saying. If you smoke, if you chain smoke, drink excessively, and don't moisturize. Don't ask me about body care tips. I ain't got nothing for you. Address that first, then we talk about body care. Okay, anyway, because half the time I really don't be doing anything. I really don't. So we primed. Let's get a little bit of extra, a little extra reinforcement with Farsali Skin to Blur. This one's running out. And this is like my fourth one. That's when you know I really love a product because this guy. Hmm. I'm walk away. That's like my fourth one. So I just use it like right here in the middle or the center of my face. I hate how these comments like don't show real time. Like I want to see the tea as I'm saying it, you know? <laughs> Wish I could get involved with it, you know? Like, can we just... Let me see. What's tacky? The person, somebody asked me, is it tacky? I'm not sure if you're referring to the primer or skin tune blur. Um, by the way, that would be super helpful for me if you have questions about a product. Please, like, state what the product is because this live stream is moving so fast and I don't think comments are real time. So if you're saying, you know, oh, is that product cheap? I'm not going to talk about. I'm probably already two like products down, you know? Then, Visionaire IU, one comb. This is kind of like a, they call it an advanced multi-correcting eye balm. I've talked about this so many times. It's basically like an under eye primer. And I like using it for this bouncy, beautiful texture under eyes. It just makes applying my concealer really nice. And, um, you know, in case the Ferrari start looking nice, you know, you want to like, I don't know where I'm going with that. But anyway, I put this on under my eyes because we don't want to look dead at a Ferrari party, sis. We're trying to look alive now. We're trying to pretend like we're coming to secure the bags. Really, we're coming to secure the free food. You know what I mean? Like, you have you ever just been in a place in your life where you're like, I'm not here for the bags. I'm here for the food. And the popcorn. Moving forward. Let's powder up. I'm testing out. Actually, I've used this before. I have used this before. This Dermablend Loose Setting Powder. Do y'all like this? I've heard a lot of great things about Dermablend. Um, I don't remember. Like, I never take the time to, like, know how the powder responds to my skin after I use it. I'm actually going to set with Laura first just to see if you guys can tell me in the comments how you like this powder. Tell me if you like this powder for oily skin. 
Because some translucent powders just do nothing to control oil. And is it gets real ugly real fast. So anyway, I'm just powdering down, prepping the skin. Okay. The Dermaglen powder is good, but I was using it when they only had a pasty white, so I moved on. I would definitely not use like a white powder. Someone's saying turn on slow mode. I don't want to mess around and I don't know what slow mode is, where to find that. You lost me, guys. This is my first live stream. Um, somebody said find Gallo pimples. I definitely have one right there. Boom, clock. No, I would not. Well, I can't say no. I don't know if I buy Ferrari. I actually don't know. Um, anyway, moving on. I'm waiting for someone to give me the tea on Derma, Derma Blend. Hmm. Okay. All right. You guys are still typing slow mo, but not saying how to get there. It's not helping me. Sorry. I don't see an option anywhere that says slow mode at all. I am so sorry. So we're just gonna move forward. All right. Um, we're gonna use Too Faced Born this way. I use spice rum as a corrector, only as a corrector because I'm not in my summer shade, so around my mouth. And then chai everywhere else. I try to use no more than one pump for my whole face because, girl, we all know that Born This Way is very moisture deficient. So if you, sometimes if you use just way too much foundation, it just, it's a lot. And that's honestly with like any foundation. So yeah, I, I try to keep it to a minimum and build up my coverage with other things like concealer. You know, it's a little something for the world. Where's my foundation brushes? Yeah, like 15 times because it's bomb.com. It's from NYX and I don't know the name off the top of my head, but um, online, there's only two foundation brushes that look like this and I think it's the Buff something, buffing there, so I don't remember. Edit, info, advanced settings, chat, turn on slow mode. Okay, hold on. Let's try to do this without messing something up. Don't see, don't see that option at all anywhere. Don't see it at all. Hold on, hold on you guys, I'm here. I'm here, don't go nowhere. Mm -mm. I'm done messing with this. Okay, so I'm just blending this out. First, I blend out spice rum. Sometimes I'll take it like to my little perimeter, my big old head, and then I blend out everything else. The cha, 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 cha. You guys remember that song from Casey and Jojo? Laugh, laugh. Mm-hmm. You better come through coverage. Look at me 15 minutes and already doing the base and almost done with it at that. What a multitask. For those of you guys that are asking about, um, well, actually, no one here is asking, but we were talking about it on Twitter earlier, how much time it takes to get ready, right? It takes me a good three hours, mm -hmm. but, and comma, however, that's from like getting in the shower. That three hours starts from getting in the shower to uh, like grabbing my keys and leaving. That includes like everything, hair, picking up the outfit, uh, making Snapchat videos, like all of that. What is the credit? What? Hold on. Somebody wrote something. No, I really don't. I really don't see. 
hold on, what is this? If I click this, something better not happen. Okay, no, that's not gonna work. No, mm -mm. Why don't I have a live dashboard? I don't see a live dashboard at all. It literally disappeared once I went live. I don't know you guys, I'm trying. I'm not, I'm not seeing some of the settings. And I'm a pretty good computer savvy person. Sorry. Okay, um, figured that out later, I guess. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, basics good. We're going to contour with a bit of Fenty, Fentisha. I'm gonna go real light though, because this color is very dark. It's four, nine, eight. And when I mean real light, I mean like, I'm gonna like wipe off the excess. Do I like this one? We love contouring. We were going to read. You guys judge me if I burped? Excuse me. Sorry. I warned you. I, I did warn you. The same. Okay. All right. Where's my other concealer? Stay right there. Don't move a muscle. Where are you going? I saw you leave. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of Kevin Aquan in the shade 14. Go a little bit more corrective. On my chin. Oh, you know what? That's not the color I wanted to use. But that's okay. I'll just start with it under my eyes because this is like a full, 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 Boom, I look 75% less tired. So because I'm wearing black, right? I'm thinking we can go slightly cover colorful on my eyes, but you know what? Like I'm not trying to distract from the color of the frogs. So I'm not gonna go too crazy with the colors. Maybe a little olive green and some glitter and a floating lash, something like that. So um, anyway, you know, I like to let my concealer dry down a little bit. Whose hair is this? Ew, well, disgusting. Okay. What I really wanted to do was use cacao. Do y'all see my hands? Oh, shoot. Sure, sure. Okay, so what I really wanted to do was put a little bit of a darker red concealer. Red based concealer. Around here. More correcting. I correct. Like really intense now. Like really, it's it's a lot. It's a lot, babe. It's a lot. Oh, and guess what, you guys? I just discovered something really awesome. Look at this. Look at this. Hold on. Stay right there. Don't move muscle. Okay. So Sephora has this stuff called uh, Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleanser. And what I do after I use like my creamy liquid products. Spray in the little towel and just clean. That way my brushes are always sanitized because let's be real. We don't have time to wash brushes every day. We don't, okay? I'm a mother of three, okay? I'm running a Fortune 500 company. I just don't have time, I don't have time. But this is the next best thing and it smells very pleasant and it's not strong at all, which is great. Reading comments now. Oh, you know, the comments actually aren't that far back, you know. You text me. You make sure my phone is not on silent. Okay. Who the hell is this? Hold on my phone. Okay. Now, the first thing that I do before I blend my concealer, or yeah, I blend my contour first. So let's do that. And because. This concealer sets down pretty good. I don't throw away makeup 
for people that are, that always assume I do. I don't throw in makeup. I never throw in makeup. So it dries down, but not to the point where it's not movable. So I don't know if you could tell how quickly that blended, but that's nice. You see that curvature? She was not born with that. Okay. I know you see this chisel. Beat is chiseled. The brush that I'm using is the Sigma F79. Really, really good for pinpointed parts of the face, contouring, all that good, good. And then I don't know why I just felt the urge to draw sub subtraction marks on my forehead. It's triggering my trichophobia, but it's cool. I'm just going to try to blend them out without getting these bumps. <laughs> Fine. Chisel away some of the square footage of my forehead, slowly but surely. And blend. I'll be a little silent throughout this process, guys. Just a little bit. But that's cool with you. I'm trying to look good for my man tonight, though. Let me tell you something. I like to pat in contour more than I do swipe because I feel like then it takes off my foundation. Okay. That looks pretty good. I'm going to come back to this brush later in a little bit. Then we're going to blend out everything else. So I'm gonna start with the correcting part. We let things dry down in this household. You know why? Because they last so much longer and they give so much coverage. I bet you thought I forgot about the concealer, didn't you? I didn't. I didn't, okay? And then I kind of like go over my contour again. I'm a big fan of using like brushes and then sponge. Brushes and then sponge. I you know, like you submit a project, your sponge checks your work. You feel me? Like you just kind of go over all of it, be smooth, readapt. Okay. Does someone bring a dentist? Why are you talking about dentist? Being attractive. Who bought the dentist? Okay, now I'm gonna blend this out. Y'all hear snoring? I don't know where y'all hear snoring from. I'm so sorry. Oh, let me stop eating popcorn because I could be letting my computer dry while I eat popcorn. Oh, Playing yourself for a fool. Now I'm going to add a little bit of another color right under my eye for the coverage dude the coverage this is my highlight shade you know what guys lately i've been wearing more concealers but less of it does that make sense like instead of just slathering on a bunch of one concealer i'm still slather on but I'll use less of each one. I'll just like wear them all together. That didn't even make no damn sense, did it? It sure didn't. Well, you know what? Deal with it. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So yeah, we got the sunrise going on. And I'm gonna eat some more popcorn. And read some comments while the shots with it. Wow, three in South Africa. Where's it raining at? Who's talking about rain? Oh, I love you too. These comments are just getting faster. Come 
Dubai. Already 5 a.m. Wow. South Carolina, come on and raise up. My mirror is from Simple Human. It's very expensive and very bougie. You do not need this mirror. You can get any 3X, mag I specifically use a 3X magnifying mirror when I do my makeup. Because when I tell you a 3X magnifying mirror will, will show you brain activity, it'll show you brain activity. But some mirrors are so magnified that like you can't even, you have to get in front to see. And then you can't even blend anything because you're right here, you know? So this is the perfect amount of zoom. So I can be like about a foot away and I can still see like every detail. I like seeing details. Just saying. I have makeup artist friends who do makeup on their clients under a magnifying glass, but you can't do that on yourself. Like, you know, like that's weird. So the next best thing is a magnifying mirror. But the only reason why I got this one is because it was the only semi aesthetically pleasing mirror I could find that like matched the decor in my little bougie glam room, glam room. So don't be like me. I'll always tell you guys like this. A mirror is definitely not something you need to splurge on. But I will say she does light up and that's pretty cool. And it comes with a little pop out magnifying like I think this is 10x I think. I don't remember. But that way if I really need to get detail or like ooh Oh, this little insert right here is the best when you're trying to pluck them chin hairs. You know when you're trying to pluck a chin hair and it just sprouted and you go in to pluck it and the little sucker just, you break it off before you can get it from the root. Oh, I freaking hate when that happens. That lets you get as close as, oh my God. I will say that's very convenient. Just saying. Um, but you still can get like another mirror that's like, more zoomed into that. You don't need to get this one. True tea? All right, well, I think this is dried down pretty good. Oh, I just dropped. Oh my God, I hope I did not stain the floor. Okay, I think I'm fine. Okay, now we're gonna blend out our concealer. If you guys have questions on products used, you can rewatch this a little bit later if you're just joining us. That ain't a problem, that ain't a problem. We're gonna blend, blend, blend. Yes. Yes, for everybody that's that can relate to the chin hair struggle. Let me tell you something. I used to be so embarrassed as a woman to have like chin hairs and like mustache hairs and like Honestly, who cares? <sighs> On my worst day, I'm still a freaking 12 out of 10. So a little chin hair ain't gonna stop me. Just saying. Just saying. All right. That looks cool. So far. I'm gonna add ooh, a concealer that's a little more golden orange because. I like to look a little more golden orange under my eyes. For my part. That's truffle. I think that's truffle. Truffle or walnuts. I'll go between truffle or walnut from NARS. And let me say something. If you don't think NARS Radiant Creamy is the baddest concealer, leave. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, but I'm really not. So we're going to hit the center of our face again because that's what the girls want us to do. I wish I could see how many people were in this live stream. It says 3.7 thousand, but then once the video gets uploaded, there's a whole different number. This is a scam. This is a freaking scam. Come to Romania. Wow, Romania. Hi, Romania. What's good in Romania? Let's talk about it. Mm -mm. Nobody calls Dennis Chocolate Daddy but me. Mm -mm. 
Absolutely not. Okay. I think. Let's try a little. Riverside. Riverside. I -E. What's the Style Insider? I don't know what that is. You said they saw me in the Style Insider. I don't know what that is. Winning it all out. Go get some popcorn. Y'all, I'm going to be here. When you come back, if you want to get some popcorn, go for it. Might ask me when is Jay? Wait, let me see. When Jay coming back? I don't know. Show me, me. Has not much out. I'm sure I'll see her. Hi, Miss Jade. She's such a cutie. But yeah, I don't know when she's coming back. I really don't. Okay, so the thing with like highlighting is you gotta go back to the contour. And just kind of like, you know, re around the little surrounding areas. Oh, thank you. It's nice that I'm really pretty. Thank you. I may have collabs coming up. I can't say what, but I definitely got some fun stuff coming. Can't wait to show you. It's been a long time in the making. And you guys are going to die. You guys are going to be Shookington. Shook Beth. Just like a little bit of this born this way. Your mom mean a little bit, I mean a little bit. Do y'all remember that song? A little bit, a little bit, a little bit in love with you. I remember when I heard the original version of that song and then they put, I mean, I love Drake. I was like, we didn't need you on this song. Like, this is already a hot song, sir. Go back to Toronto. So, no, I'm just kidding. Okay, this is the last concealer. I swear. I sweater God. Who grabbed some popcorn? Let me know if you grab popcorn. What was my take on the Met Gala? My favorite looks were definitely um, Lily Singh. I thought she looked incredible. I thought, uh, I think his name is Billy Simmons. Oh my God, killed it. Like beyond killed it. Incredible. Incredible! Um, I did love Gaga's theatrics. I thought she was having like the best time ever. She just seems like a really fun person. I thought Janelle Monet looked freaking incredible. I think she's pretty much a style icon, well on her way to becoming one. I know people get really, uh, when you use the word icon too loosely, but like Janelle gives us looks, she really does. I feel like Janelle Monet is doing like what Cher did in her time. Like she gives us looks, she gives us looks. And Janelle gives me looks, and she's not afraid to like push boundaries and stuff, you know? I love her. She seems like a cool, hip person. Um, some of these black comments. <sighs> Screenshot. Because some of these blocks comments are looking real shush, bro, like real shush back. Does YouTube have a time limit the same way Instagram does? Because Instagram be cutting people off after like an hour and it's really annoying. And it's just like, I just came, I just want to be in the video. Like, like, why did you stop my shine? I hope it doesn't because I would be really annoyed. And I feel like after an hour, I'll probably still be working on my brows. You know what I mean? Like, oh, YouTube don't cut off. Oh, block comments. Um, so basically, I guess like YouTube automatically filters. I'm looking at the live stream comments. Oh, I didn't take my mom. Hold on. 
Hold on. Guys. Um, so YouTube like automatically filters the comments that are on the little sidebar thing. I'm not screening them at all. It's just YouTube. I guess it's like picking up on like harmful words or whatever, block words. Yeah, I got issues. I got my issues, bro. Love you too. Love you too. I didn't see who wrote that comment, but love you. Love you. Love you. Love. Somebody told me I can sing just like Mariah Carey. And I believe them. So I went and auditioned for America's Got Talent. And they assigned me to clean the bathrooms. They didn't even let me audition. So I cried. And then when I got home, this little five-year-old girl was like, came up to me. And she saw me crying. And she was like, sis, you are going to do amazing things. And Oh, damn. thank you. Good looking out because you totally can't see the text messages. Not like you can see anything bad, but good looking out whoever wrote that. Um, so a little five-year-old girl came up to me and saw me crying. And you know what she said to me? She says, sis, you're going to do amazing things. Keep it up. And she just walked away. And you know who that little girl was? Michelle Obama. Never, never walk away from your dreams. That little girl grew up to be Michelle Obama. Like, to this day, it's still, it's crazy. Okay, here we go. Dermal blend powder. I'm going to actually make note of it and try to remember how I like it. Because I've worn this powder like three times, I think. And I never remember to make note of how I like it. So I'm going to stop doing that because it's really annoying. But first, it's really annoying because like when you wear concealer, you have to like keep patting it and keep patting it and keep patting it. Oh, no, wait. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to stamp that in very seriously. It's good so far. The color is something saffron, warm saffron, warm saffron. We pat so we get all the crinkles and wrinkles out. Nothing wrong with crinkles and wrinkles, but the ones that are being caused from the concealer, you know what I'm saying, right? You feel me? You feel me? We're going to give Dermablend Pro a shot today. Whoever, oh, she not looking bad. She not looking bad. She ain't looking that bad at all, though. Whoever said this was a phenomenal powder, if it sucks, I'm blocking you. I'm totally kidding. I would never do that. But I low-key do feel a way when somebody recommends a powder. Or like, let's say I have a powder that I really like. And then someone will be like, oh, you should try this one. This one's better. And I'm like, well, I already like this one. So like, what's the point of changing it? Like, if it ain't broke, one try to fix it. I already like what I like. Then you go and try, right? And then it ends up sucking. And then you're like, why did you tell Why? You knew I liked what I liked. Why did you tell me to try this? It's just a cold world. No snuggy out here, man. Like, let's be out here. I don't know what this stuff. No, I'm kidding. I went back to my brown one. Laura Merce. Laura Mercy. Oh, mercy, mercy me. Laura Mercier. And I'm going to stamp this all over my skin. But she's cute. And she twerk. Oh, thank you. Vitamin B says you love my videos. Thank you. Dang, somebody just shut down them Jade comments real quick. Dang, sis. She said Jade is not her child. Stop asking for her. She's coming back when her sister wants her to come back. Thank you. So Jackie and I represent be going hard. I didn't say anything. My, my sponges are damp. 
they are always down. Always down. No matter what, if you think they're damp, they're probably damp. It's hard to tell, but mm -hmm. they're damp. I'm trying to read comments on. A video of all my brushes. That was like a three hour video. Mm -hmm. Getting thirsty. Please hold while I transfer your file. Someone said SPF question mark and nothing else. I don't know what they're asking. Or I don't know. Mm. Mm. Trying to read some comments. If you don't like my nails, don't really care. It's very simple. I don't wear them for you. I wear them for me. Now, I'm going to powder a little bit more. But first, I want to bronze. I'm going to bronze with... Coconut. Ugh. Coconut. Empty. You know what? I wish this bronzer smelled like something. Mm. Laser update jacket, please, huh? Let me get it. Jacket. We're just gonna sculpt. Actually, we're not sculpting. We're just kind of, you know, adding color back to the skin in all the right places. This brush is Zoeva 101 Lux. I do not have any laser hair in the updates. Coco Naughty. <coughs> that was a bit dramatic, but you get my point. Fenty does slay. Ah, uh, thank you. Somebody said thank you for my service. Thank you so much. That's so nice of you. Very, very nice of you. So sweet. Totally so good. Don't lie. You know I do. You know I do. You're going to get me a lie. I know you're going to lie. You don't lie. Say I don't. Mm -hmm. Don't do it. Don't do it to yourself. I'm going to add a little bit more powder. A little bit more powder. To pump, pump it up. A little bit more. I like, really like the color of warm saffron. It's very inviting and warm. Like my bedroom lighting. I'm calm. I'm calm. I only look crazy in my videos because they're edited that way. Crown Royale? Who talking about Crown Royale? Are y'all in the comments talking about drink mixes? I cannot. I cannot. Y'all got it, got real hood real quick. Mm -hmm. Let's see how y'all get when you're unattended for too long. Look at this. What the? Y'all, y'all got to chill. She said Crown Royale. Somebody's asking about Nigeria, but it's not a, it just says Nigeria and nothing else. Maybe she was answering somebody else's question. I'm not sure. I just did a video with Dennis on my channel, actually. Um, less than a week ago, we should check it out. It's our skincare routine. We did it together. It was his first time doing my full entire whole shebang skincare routine with me. That was fun. That was like really fun. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit more powder. Wait, do I want to use a brush? Just, just, I'm gonna just real quick, just sponge it on. Who's 
talking about Fanta. Y'all got to chill. <laughs> Why are y'all still talking about drink mixes? <laughs> I'm so dead. This is what happens when the chat is left unattended. What the hell going on? All right, brow time. You already know what time it is. It's brow time. I'm probably going to be pretty silent to draw brows because the brows are the window to the soul. Just saying. Am I right or am I right? I'm right. Just a bit. I'm right, dude. Like, it's cool. Aw, thank you. <laughs> Somebody said I'm going to do my brows off camera. It's normally what I would do. I would just edit it out and act like nothing happened. Oh, you know what? I want to do a little bit of, just a little bit of reverse contouring with the powder since it's nice and buttery and yellow. This is actually kind of orangey, warm saffron. My computer is like on fire right now. It's like, if you could hear what my computer sounds like, it's like, Like, why are computers so computery? It's so strange to me. Like, so freaking loud, dude. All right, so I'm gonna use number six to shape my brow. And I'll be all hunched over when I do this too. The more hunched I am, the better the brow is the same. Do you see this preemptive shape? I'm not playing with 90 songs. Someone just asked. I mean, I have a lot. The first thing that comes to mind is TLC about your friends. What about your friends? Will they stand their ground? Will they let you down? Oh, what about your friend? What about your friends? Are they gonna be no be no doubt? That's the 90s, right? That's not the early 2000s. I was born in 87. What do you know what I'm Where are these drink recipes coming from? <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, back to my brows. I just got distracted. <laughs> Give me one second. Don't be saying nothing nasty. Now that I said that, someone's gonna do it. I just know, I just know I'm gonna have to block somebody. I just know. I just know it's coming. Don't worry, because I'm on the phone. Not playing. Okay, so why don't we play a game while I'm doing my brows? If you had to guess what my next collab is, what would you think it is? I'm just curious. I would love to know. No, not the company. Just tell me what kind of collab you think, what kind of beauty brand collab you think it is? What, what category? Skincare, foundation, lippy, a lash, eyeshadow. Like, what would you guess? I've seen a lot of skincare. I saw fashion. I saw foundation. I, you know what I don't realize I mean well I don't understand why wouldn't I want my brows to be sisters I mean twins oh my god there's a big old popcorn seed stuck in their teeth did you know that Doing your brows 
after foundation instead of before foundation guarantees you a 50% salary increase in the workforce. The CDC did a whole study on it. It's just the facts. I don't make the rules. I just repeat them. Rouse after foundation will absolutely advance you in life. So you can either do things the wrong way or you can do things the right way. And that's on period. Oh my God, I have, I have an hour left. I don't know. I'm going somewhere. Don't y'all love when I do stuff like this before I'm going somewhere? Well, not like this, because I've never been on Instagram, I mean, YouTube Live, but I'm always doing something in a rush. Like, what is wrong with me? Now, if that's not a freaking perfect damn brow, I don't know what is, but we're not done. This is not the right color. No. Where's she at? There it is. Well, I'm the number four now. I take a, goose brow, a thicker brow right at, at the head and darken that up. Fill it in. Dimensional brow. We do. You know what looks so good, you guys? So Anastasia's new brows, she has a red one. Oh, it actually looks so good. Even though I have brown hair, it looks so good. It's in the color Auburn, I think. Oh, it looks so good. You're going to see it in my next tutorial. Auburn. She's fire. She is fire, fire. So I hope you guys had fun guessing my next collab. You're definitely not going to guess what it is. And that's on period. Like, that's just on period. CDC, yeah, the CDC also said you shouldn't wash chicken, but if you wasn't clean, if you wasn't cooking your own chicken in the first place, you wouldn't have issues. You should be eating Popeyes. That's where you messed up. Hopefully, my FBI government agent isn't on this live. And if they are, maybe they'll learn some brow tips. Now, I'm gonna say, where's my potato? Oh, born this way, I used to prime. I know somebody did not say this church is better. I know I did not see that comment. I halfway read it though, so I could be wrong. Whoever wrote that comment, ma'am, ma'am, I'm gonna spare you one time. I'm not going to do you like Cersei did Miss Sunday. I'm going to spare you. All right. But that can never fly again. Now, I'm still not done with my brows. And I'll tell you why. The reason I'm not done with my brows is I like to, con I like to blend concealer under my eyes. Right, right. Prime, prime. Okay. All the way from like inner to outer, right? Then I go back to my bronzer. Wait, where is it? Oh, here it is. Bronzer's back. All right. And then I use a brush that looks like this. The name's rubbed off. Unfortunately, I can't share that name with you. So sorry. I could probably blend this a little bit better, just a little bit better though. So. Okay, that's better. Then I take my bronzer. You guys already know what I'm going to do. And right at the head, I just soften it. Then I blend it down. So I don't know if you can see the difference in this brow when I did that and this brow. 
This one's more harsh. This one looks like it grew from my scalp. This looks good. It'd be nice if I can like hear people, people's comments. Do we like what we see? Brows are definitely a little bit of a process. Yes, KFC is trash. I agree. We will never stand, never have, and we never freaking will. Like whoever is out here trying to make KFC happen can get the door. For real, for real. Leave. Now that I have a snatched face and a snatched bra, somebody said, I don't like that's a bit much, but that's how you feel, girl. I'm not going to lie or whatever. All right, brow gel, brow gel time. I'm going to use medium brown. Dark brown, sorry, dark brown. Mainly in this area. Oh my God, I hope you guys don't hear Dennis King next door. Yo, ABH is freaking brow gel, bro. Like, don't sleep. Wake up, you're sleeping. Eee. You're really sleep. Mandels is good. We don't have mandels in LA though. Or on the West Coast at all. Who said it's a ghost? It's a ghost. I'm gonna add a little more bronzer. My big old forehead. Hey guys, it will be super helpful. Um, if you have a question about like a product or something. And someone said Oma oh, Beauty, but then didn't say anything else. So I'm not sure if that like, I don't, I don't know what that means. Just like make sure, cause I can't see if there's conversation happening about the brand or I don't know if you're talking to me. So yeah, if you could just like give me some context when I say about things, that would be helpful, thank you. For my eyes, I'm gonna use the combination of Colored Rain Safari Palette and probably the Natasha Biba palette. It's such a good palette. No, you don't need to run out and buy it because it's very expensive, but if you're kind of like trying to dabble into the Natasha Denona world, the Natasha Denona universe, I would say get it because it's a good palette. And I will say that Natasha's palettes are expensive, but I don't feel like most of them are like user friendly. Um, because they're the colors are like very interesting, but this one on the other hand, fire. Freaking fire. So we're gonna do first. Cause like I like the Safari palette from Colored Rain, but like the transition colors from this palette are really what I'm looking for. Whoa. You can see my reflection in the reflection. Whoa. Very strange. All right, so the first thing we're gonna use is Pasha. Passionate from miles away. Passionate from things you say. Passionate from my ways. I can't blame it all. We're gonna blame Pasha or Pasha, I don't know, into my crease. Yes, fire, fire, fire. 
Uh, I don't use P. Louise Bass because that's the person who likes saying the N-word. And I don't think you have to necessarily use that base. Um, I'm a fan of the Too Faced Concealer, and it does, for me, just as good of a job. I do think that's a good base, though. I have used it. But not a fan of people who aren't Black and use it. Not sorry. Do a tour. I'd pay to see you do demo. Oh, no, honey. My makeup tour days are over. Definitely not. Tours are so much work. Oh, my God. It's so exhausting. So we're blending. Oh, my God. I hope I'm fine. So I'm blending Pasha from the Natasha Denona Biba palette, neutral palette, into my crease. Yeah, you don't have to use um, a specific base. Like, you can use concealer in your eyes. It ain't no problem. It ain't no problem. What I am going to do is spice it up a little bit, though, and run to Clay Aiken from this palette and just warm it up a little bit. I just didn't want it to be too, too orangey. Like, around the edges, we're going to warm it up. Okay. Okay. Play is so sexy. And I'm going to blend around. I do actually have a lot of wood space. It's pretty intense. So that's the start of what's going to be a very successful eye look. Just you wait. Just you freaking wait, bro. Um, I'm not trying to go too, too colorful, you know, I'm trying to keep it somewhat, so I say, y'all sure about this, sure about what? We're talking about Clay Aiken because the color of the eyeshadow is called Clay. So, you know, I love playing around with words. It ain't no problem. Where's my eye brushes? Next, I'm going to take, I want to go green. I definitely want to go green. So I'm going to take. Green Valley ah! and Colored Rain and pop that onto my lid. This is like such a good palette. I definitely, I was not going to go this colorful, but it's cool. My robe is from Savage X Fenty. They make some of my favorite loungewear stuff. They have really cute robes. And lingerie and PJs just saying. Come through green apple emojis. That's cute. I'm cool with that. But I'm going to try to make it less colorful and more sultry. Because we are going to Ferrari party. So, you know that goes. I don't want to look too standout-ish. Because I actually don't even know, like, what the I honestly don't know what the vibe of this is going to be. So, I just don't want to be that person. Contrary to what you might believe, Leos do not always like being the standout center of attention person. I sure as hell don't. Because then people want to come talk to you and ask you questions. Leave me alone. I'm trying to get to the freaking dessert table. You feel me? Dang, my stomach just growled when I said that. It's pretty dumb. Next, I think I'm going to take, what color is this? This is like, no, I don't want to take that color. Wait, do I? No. Okay, I'm going to go back to Pasha. Dark brown, reddish brown. Right? Pasha's really a vibe. Pasha 
was technically like my transitional color. And it's also now gonna be my crease color. And we're just gonna pop that in the outer V. And I'll be. I gotta throw gold in there too, man. Now, I, now that I think of it, I really do gotta throw in some gold because there's gold buttons on my dress. There's literally nothing green about what I'm wearing. Like at all. Yes, I am saving the video. If you miss anything, I am saving the video. Open there. I'm gonna line my eyes with dark brown. This is from Auntie Pat. Black coffee. I don't know why this is called black coffee. Oh. It's called black coffee because it's dark brown and black coffee is not even black. It's dark brown. Hmm. I just realized that. You guys, I don't. Uh, a dental care video? I just literally brush my teeth twice a day, I swear to you. Not even twice a day, once a day. What am I even saying, once a day? Okay, we're gonna go to Coco. Coco's kind of soft, she's a soft or dark brown. And I'm gonna blend along my bottom lash line. Make it real cute and heavenly. Ooh, you know what? I shouldn't have put the powder up so high, but it's fine. But sometimes shadows just don't stick as well as they should. But it's cool, it ain't no problem. It ain't no problem. What's good, Nigeria's in the building? What time is in Nigeria? Like morning? It must be early morning. Somebody said it was 5 a.m. in Dubai, and that's like, what, an hour ahead of Nigeria? Two hours? Show me, show me like that, show me like that. Sorry, I cannot do this on camera because like I have to position the mirror a certain way. I am so sorry, sweetie. I'm very sorry about it. So the eye is looking very like soccer mom, but I dabble in a little bit of the VIB sale from Sephora. You know, like I'm trying to get the girls, she's in her 30s. But she's also hip and knows a little something about color cosmetics. You know that vibe? Mother of three. Mother of dragons. Mother of palettes. I'm the mother of palettes. Now Coco really did what the girls need to, needed to do on the bottom lash line. That's a good color. You know what I think I'm gonna do though? Look how cute this is. You guys know those little, um, acrylic cases that people buy for makeup and stuff. So I put all of my Stila, Stilaations in here. Cause I love these. And what I'm gonna do is take, why do I have two of these? Oh my God, I'm so stupid. It's cool, I'll just put it in my phone. I'm gonna take La Dulce. La Dulce, I think that means sugar or sweet or candy. I don't know, something like that. And I'm gonna, okay, it's the exact same color. The exact same color. I don't know why I was thinking this was going to be a darker green. Ignore me. Ignore what I'm doing. You don't need to do this. It's the exact same color as the color green shadow. That was a waste. But it's pretty. It now makes it look like all foily. So I'm going to blend it out now. But you don't need that color. You don't. Um, I don't have natural hair updates. Updates as in, like, am I doing something new? Not really. I am, at the moment, not doing anything new. She's still growing. She's still doing her thing, Fizzle. Uh, 
Uh, somebody just said hair growth, but nothing else. I don't know what that means. Someone said Ryan Destiny, and nothing else. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Feel free to ask questions while I'm here. That looks bomb. And if you say it doesn't, you would damn lie, leave. I'll take some black liner now. At the lash line. You know she loves a smoky liner. A smoky liner moment. What is my fave makeup look? I definitely have to say my favorite makeup looks that like I could do on myself every single day with no complaints would involve like peachy, warm tones, earth tones. I love, I just love the color peach. It's like so pretty on dark skin. It's just phenomenal. Like it just looks good. Okay, so now on top of that liner, I'm gonna blend a little bit of posh, just a little. And smudge it out. Okay, these emoji gang people, like y'all really gotta chill for real, for real. Okay, so if I got invited to the Met Gala for the person who's asking, I don't know what I would wear, but it would definitely be on theme. Like, I would definitely do that. Hold on, you guys, sorry. Hello? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, I am. Do you know what your ETA is? Okay, perfect. Okay, thank you. Bye, drive safe. Bye. Homie coming up to pick up my wheel. Okay, so back to the liner. We're going to blend that out for the girls. Blends it out for the girls. I need a little bit more. I can't believe I'm like actually on track to leave on time. What the hell is going on? This is crazy. Let me try to answer more questions. Hold on, give me one second. Let me look at the comments. Oh, this black liner is also from Pat. Um, Pat is definitely of a particular uh, price category, so you don't have to use Pat's liners, but I do think that they're great. I also like L'Oreal Infallible Liner, just saying. My favorite place I've traveled to so far, you guys, my favorite country in the entire world, next to Nigeria, of course, is Greece. I love Greece. Yes! Greece is just like everything. It's just so beautiful. Like it's just why is it so beautiful? I don't know, but it's beautiful. It really just is. Okay. Don't ask questions. Somebody said, oh, I thought somebody said, where's Greece? Girl, if you don't look at a map, um, Santorini. I love Santorini. Santorini is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Very, very romantic, though. Very romantic. There is not another release of La Peach. La Peach is not coming back. You guys, when I say uh, collab is like coming and going, like it, that's not, like I don't make that up. It's definitely not coming back, unfortunately, because I don't even have backups. So. It's a cold world. If you snooze, you lose. Sorry about that. I'm going to just say sorry about that. You feel me? I know you feel me. I dry my beauty blender sponge, but it's, it ain't no problem. It ain't no problem. Keep asking questions, guys. Ask away. I'm bronze a little bit more. I'm actually still baking. 
technically. You want to be really technical? I'm kind of still baking, in case you're wondering. I know you want, but I'm just throwing that info out there. Just saying. And then I'm adding a little bit more shadow. Blush, time for blush. We're gonna use the, oh my God, you know what's a really good, if you're into blush palettes, I really like the Bouquet D'Amour blush palette from Juju Jouet. Um, the color that I'm gonna use is Treasure Me. It's an orangey, orangey shimmer shade. Ow. Treasure Me, Treasure Me. Fave Stila Glitter. That's a good question. I think that right now, I would say Twig. Twig's the one I keep going back to. It's a really beautiful, bronzy brown color. Mm. And Twig makes like a nice base for like, like I'll double them up. So I'll put like Twig on first and then I'll put, uh, oh my God, Twig with Wonderlust on top. What? Freaking fire. Like it's so pretty. Favorite drugstore primer. At the moment, you know, I don't really know what the drugstore is doing with primers at the moment. I would say the last one that I really liked was probably, what's that one called? NYX Angel, is it Angel Wheel? The one that they knocked off from Hourglass, basically. That one's pretty good. I really don't know what they've been doing since then, but I like that one. It's cool. I'm gonna put a little bit more of a matte blush. This one's from Morena Bode. Morena Bode. Morena Bode. Why is the camera blurry? It looks perfectly fine on my end. I'm sorry, guys. I don't even know how to fix that. The comments finally slow down. Probably not a good thing. That means people are leaving, but it's okay because like the cool people are left, so. It's fine, you don't need them anyway, it's cool. Get out of here, leave. We're gonna highlight with Prisma Glow from Ms. Dominique Cosmetics. Beautiful packaging, very classy, very advanced technology. Um, I'm feeling this shade here. This looks really pretty. You guys know my sister was in this campaign. The beautiful chocolate girl that you saw in this campaign, that was my sister, my sister. And I was at the photo shoot, hyping her up. Ooh, this is really pretty. It's like a copper, copper gold. That's really pretty. Bomb. Hello, my nose. I also, by the way, like how there's, is it cream? Yeah, there is cream. I forgot there is cream. Love that. Love that because I'm a huge, massive fan of cream highlighters. Like nobody who rides for cream highlighters, I don't think harder than me. Cream become bruises, like, what? If it's blurry, I'm gonna be so mad. Because I can't even fix it. And it's like blurry for everyone, too. That's so annoying. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know how to fix it. But what I can fix is my under eye because I'm done baking. I'm done baking. And I'm gonna take the Derma Blend powder again and use that to scoop Scooby the excess powder off. You can remove powder with more powder. So I go back to my powder and then remove, remove. Cute. 
I'm sorry, guys. I don't know how to fix the blurriness. I'm sorry. Where is my powders? Ooh, you know what I forgot I wanted to do? I'm going to add a little bit of this, Charlotte. It's like a last finisher. This is Charlotte's airbrush flawless finish. I like to use that like on top of powder. It's like a little stamp. Cause you know, I have a little dip under my eye, so it's really annoying, but it's cool. We totally fit it. Gonna add a little bronze again. My favorite Nigerian dish is moi moi. So good. Just a classic American staple. I don't know why this person's announcing I love you, but I can't watch this. Can't I, but can't want like this. I don't know what that means. I'm sorry. <sighs> I'm sorry, guys. I don't know why it's blurry. I can't fix it. The HD card is now down to because of the stream. Is it because there's like a lot of people or what? Like what's going on? YouTube, fix it immediately. My followers are pissed. I'm just about done. I'm gonna start putting lash glue on because I let it dry for a long time. One little tip, you guys, if you don't wanna use hair glue, because I'm not a fan of like really, 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 really strong lash glues because I don't want them to take off my lashes. What I do is I double layer my glue. So I put it on, let it dry down, and then I put on another layer and then I apply it. Because I feel like you get the double reinforcement of the lash glue without compromising the health of your natural lashes. Because you guys know I'm a lash snob. So I feel like I have some pretty good tips on how to keep them baldless. I'm not gonna compromise my eyelashes just for the falsies, just for the look. Mm -mm, I'm not that committed to the look. You feel me? I'm just not, I'm sorry. Would you guys like me to come back and install my wig? Because I can come back and install my wig on camera. That way maybe the quality will improve and then that can be like another, is the quality back? Is the quality back? Quality's back. <laughs> Thanks, YouTube. Quality's back. Amazing. Look good. Feel good. Quality's back. That's amazing, man. That's great. We're just about done, guys. We got this pretty good. It's about an hour-ish. What, what time did we start? 5.40? We did great. Like, this is really good. Animal time. Dennis won't be cussing me out because I'm late. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Dennis never cusses at me. Okay, so let's do some setting spray. Okay, let's talk about setting sprays I'm loving at the moment. I'm always going to like Hangover. Bomb. Okay, especially when I'm wearing Too Faced Foundation, so we're going to go there. I love the Farsali Rose Gold Spray. This one, to me, is more like a skincare. Um, I also have the... Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist from Glow Recipe. I actually am obsessed with Glow Recipe at the moment. I like all of their skincare stuff, their little glow moisturizer. Great at night if you have acne prone skin, hyperpigmentation. It's uh, good for like cell tone turnover. So if you have a hard time getting that old skin to just brighten up and rejuvenate, you always wanna look for something with like AHA or like a retinol, like that's literally your best friend. Hyperpigmentation, AHA, AHA and retinol, boom. Don't use them together, please and like vitamin C and other, but that's a different video. Okay, um, but yeah, this is another skincare product that I like. I love the matte peachy spray from Too Faced. You, If you are not shaking at this product or if you're applying it too close to you, you're gonna get white dots though. I remember when this was like a whole controversy last year and the Basha matte setting spray does the exact same thing. I've noticed that matte setting sprays always leave white dots if you don't shake them up thoroughly or if you spray too close. Never had that problem with either of those products ever, ever, ever. And I'm not just saying that because it's Too Faced. So I'm probably going to end up using this one. And I'm obsessed with the Cherry Blossom Collection from MAC. This spray smells so freaking bomb. Like it smells so good. Why does it smell so good? <laughs> it smells so good. And of course, you guys also know I love the Olay Setting Mist. 
That's my skincare though. And I actually keep that in my bathroom. I don't keep that in my makeup area. I use that kind of like as a aftercare after doing my nighttime skincare. So I'm gonna double up on the peach, peach matte spray. First, then on top. <laughs> then, oh, before I do that, let me add another layer of lash glue because you know I like to double up. Hold on real quick. So that she doesn't dry down. And so she also stays put. And today I'm gonna try to do what Steven did. Steven did my makeup last night, Glam Tech Steven T on Instagram. And I really liked it. And you guys seem to have really liked it too. So I normally put on mascara first and then put on my lashes. But today I'm going to try the opposite. I'm just going to see if I like it. Just see to see. It used to not really work for me, but today I'm a new woman. Today I'm a new woman and I'm trying new things. I'm switching it up. Okay, so after I do the matte spray, I like to do a skincare spray. Hangover. And I always black my eyes. I freaking love this spray. This is also kind of my, my skincare spray too. It's my makeup spray and my skincare spray. There's some sprays I only use for skincare. And the reason why I have some of these that aren't makeup spray at my desk, because I also do like editing on this desk and like work on this desk sometimes. So throughout the night, like my skin might get a little dry and I'll just like rejudge while I'm getting work done. You know, I'm a little bougie, but it's fine. It's cool. No one's gonna judge me. And um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go grab my wig and my hair stuff real quick while my lashes are drying. So don't move a muscle, don't go anywhere. We'll come right back. Because we're gonna do wig install together, okay? So don't go nowhere. Stay right where you are. I'm coming right back. Oh crap, I forgot my wig. I'm back. Hope y'all wasn't talking crap. Y'all was talking crap, huh? I know you was. Y'all ain't slick. I'll see you. Okay, I put my wig stuff over here real quick. And I'm wearing my black wig that I've been posting on Instagram lately, which is from Alonzo Arnold's. That's what I'm wearing tonight because she's already styled. So, um, throw on my lash real quick. The lash is so extra, Miami. Dang, y'all have started a whole new chat, a whole new thread. 
Now I dropped the beauty blender earlier. Now I can't find it. You already know what time it is, right? It's last time. It's last time. <sighs> Shoes. Why you guys keep talking about a ghost? You're not scaring me. This is definitely not a haunted establishment. I'm just saying. The glue I use is Duo. And sometimes I'll use kiss, kiss Lash Glue. Sometimes, just depends. Y'all better stop talking about these damn ghosts. Y'all better stop talking about these damn ghosts. Y'all scare me. Yeah, you miss it because you're out of God. Just and see both miss it. Because I'm saved. Mm -mm. Like that's the slash. That's what the slash means to me. It is in the Bible. Somebody getting scared because you're talking about ghosts. Y'all get scared, huh? <laughs> oh, don't be scared. Don't listen to them. They're lying to you. Y'all ain't trying to play me with these ghost accusations. No, ma'am, Pam. What you're not going to do is that. Wait, y'all really saying a ghost was trying to find my shoes? What? What in the hell? What in the Sam Hill? What the hell going on? Y'all I don't know what the hell going on, y'all. Y'all going through it. Yeah, the hanger just moved, huh? Yeah, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I believe it. Mm -hmm. I don't know what live stream you watching, sis. Ah! <laughs> this guy is freaking lash is just. Beautiful. So what I'm gonna do is go back with a little bit of liner, like right at the last line to blend her in. Make sure she fits right in with the other contestants. Where is my pencil brush? Where's my pencil brush? The ghost stole it. And then I'm going to blend that out. Because what you've got to do is just try to conceal the lash line as much as you possibly can. It don't got to be perfect. You just got to do your best. Just try your best. That's all there is to it. Rooting to me and kicking the booting. This liner, by the way, is from Lancome. I just grabbed it because it was there. But I do really like this liner, grandiose liner. Wait, is that what it's called? 
Yeah, gray deals longer. And then smudge it out. My computer is breathing so loud. Like, is it really necessary, sis? It's so annoying. So annoying. Okay, if you don't believe it. That's all I found. There we go. Yeah, you're blocked, dude. You're Okay, where's my um mascara? You can use any mascara when you're wearing falsies. So it really doesn't matter. Actually, no, I take that back. It does. I say that because you don't want to use something like super clumpy, super clump that up. And it takes away from your lashes, you know. You can use whatever you want, though. And we're going to go right at the base and make it blend a little bit. Oh, I missed that question. I know. I know it's making the noise because my computer is trying to cool it down from over here. I know. It's just annoying. It's cool though. I'm gonna let it slide this one time. Next time it does it, I'm gonna smash it. What in the? Oh no, no. Bro, y'all gotta chill with these damn emojis, bro. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So what I'm going to do is my wig, and then I will do the lip after that. How about that? Does that sound good? Does that work for you and your schedule? If that works for you and your schedule, let me know. I can't believe so many of you are still on this live stream. Like, what is going on? Guys, oh my God. I love you guys. Okay, it's Wigisha time. We're done with the big magnified mirror. I'm gonna put my steel eye situations away. We don't need them. It's gonna be wig time. In a second. Oh. Oh my God, somebody. Don't go in here, don't be muscle. I'm right here, Tawny. I'm such a neat freak. Like after I use things, I have to put them back. I can't move on. I like I have to put it back. <sighs> so thanks for bearing with me. Because I like to clean as I go. So shout out. To I wish it wasn't so bright, but it's cool. I look good. That works for me. Let me make sure I'm up to date. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So, oh crap, I forgot my wig cap. Wait, nope, I'm not wearing a wig cap. Let me go grab a wig cap. Don't move the muscle. Don't be scared of the ghosts, you guys.
Sudah. Sudah. Okay. You always want to protect your hair under your wigs, so that's very important. Dead. Somebody just said, there's the ghost. Don't be funny too much. Oh, hold on. Real quick. Let me just put my brushes up so I can have a little bit more room. At my desk. Just a little bit. Let me be the neat freak that I am, you guys. I'm a little brush holder. So cute. Isn't that cute? From CB2. Okay. We've got our wig of on. I'm going to clip the sides. Well, first fit it and then clip the sides up. So it's out the way. This is um from Alonzo Arnold. I'm gonna take Gotta Be Glue, the gel, styling Viking gel. And go around where my natural hair goes. The thing that I like about this, like sometimes I'll use bold hold, bold hold lace wig glue, but that's good for like if you need to wear the wig for like a week, which I don't do. Can y'all sleep in this? I cannot. I don't know how people sleep in this. It's not a fun thing to do. Like I just can't. I try, but I just can't. You know that video clip of Wendy Williams? Like, I can't. I can't. I can't. Get all the way back with an ears on, sis. So your stuff ain't flapping in the wind. Yeah, I feel like you're sleeping with a hat on when you sleep with a wig on. Now you got to do the spray. I'll do like little dots and then I'll kind of like rub over it and blend the two together. And like I really, really apply heavily at the ears because they're flats, girl. Like I'm trying to clock out early and stuff. You know, the ear flats, that's what I like to call them. Hey, lovely Lene. She said for real, for real. So she agrees with me. Oh, you dripping. Hey, y'all still going strong in my live stream. Uh-uh. That was uncalled for. Who are these random? Oh, my God. Who are these random comments coming from? What is wrong with y'all? Like, for real, what? What? I'm gonna add a little bit more glue on the ears because I can say this is my little bottom ear. Oh my god, I hope I didn't miss any racial comments because I'm so sorry if people are in here being mean and just abusive. Sorry. Unfortunately, I'm having a really hard time catching all the comments. Yeah, next time I'll definitely do a moderator or something because this is insane. Yes, I did not forget about my inner corner. Actually, I'm going to do that right now. Or I'm going to grab the brush and do it again. Oh. And for my inner corner, I'm going to do... Two can. Two can. From colored lane. It's a little something to make the eyes twinkle when the light flickers. Why is this getting more views? Are more racist people joining? If y'all are, y'all gotta go. Y'all gotta go. 
Wait. Okay, so she's been drying for like five seconds. She look good. Good enough. Time for surgery. I secure the ear flaps first and hold them down, P.O.P. Now the hair looks very spiky because I put like wrap mousse, but then like once you brush it out, it'll go right away. I'll do sewings. Somebody asked about sewing. I don't do sewings. Yeah, exactly. Where did the lace go? I've never used ghost bomb, so I'm not familiar with it. I've never used ghost bomb. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Okay, now sometimes you might have to go back and like touch up in some areas like here we're having a little fluctuation. So that ain't no problem. Just go back and add a little bit more gel and then just boop. Boop. And I'm gonna take my designated toothbrush specifically for the hair, for the wigs, and start randomly at random. Slaying some, some baby hairs, just some little something. You don't want to be too TLC'd out. You don't want to look too chilly. Just a little. It's enough to keep the edge off, you know? Maybe like one or two. Dang, this one lifted too. I forgot. The lace was blended so good, I didn't even realize it was lifted here. Don't see the mom's though. See Alonzo in this damn lace. You done did the damn thing. Alonzisha. This baby hair situation can be tricky when you're a child of God. Especially when you're trying to die. I don't even really feel like I need them. Like, fine. You can find Alonzo Arnold on Instagram. He's great. Fabulous. Wonderful. I'll get up. Okay, so I'm going to tie this down. You ain't going to tie me down. Yes, I am. See if I won't. I like to tie this down while I do the last couple steps of my makeup routine, which is my lip. I'm wearing a Savage X Fenty robe. We're gonna come back and, and like finish this out and style it, but I'm just trying to brush some of the wrapping motion. I use wrapping motion at the roots to like give it a little voluminous, voluminous push and also to make it flat. Okay. My favorite little combo at the moment is a brown liner. This one's from LA Girl. LA Girl, yeah, LA Girl.
I'm gonna go in. Alonzo taught me that trick about wrapping motion. And the real tea is a pressing comb gets the wigs nice and flat. But the last time I talked about that, someone tried to clown me. Why you got a pressing comb? Girl, let me tell you something. Those things are still so useful. So useful. I'm switching liners because that pen is a little hard and I don't got time to be tugging and rugging and tugging. Ow, but I got glue on my hands. Okay, from ColourPop. I'll do a little bit of overlining, just a little. And then I use Kaor, Keisha Kaor in the color, in the color Love You. It's like a milky white pink, but when you go over it with a peachy nude, of course, it's bomb. This is, this is called Peach Please Fermented. Oh, from minted, not from minted, sorry. Adding a little more liner to make it look nice and toasty and defined. And my favorite gloss from Too Faced at the moment is Jordan Woods Gloss, because it's bomb. A nice juicy pout. And that's it. So I'm gonna change real quick. So because I'm changing, I don't want my FBI agents to see me. I'm gonna block the camera, but I still want you guys to be there. I'm still here.
I'm back. A big reveal coming right up with the shoes. And I do not disappoint, honey. Y'all can tell me if I should add a belt or not because I don't know if I want to add a belt. But anyway, here's my little cute bomb on blazer dress. She means business, but she can also twerk. How about that? I may have bad knees, but I can still give you the beads. Oh crap, I gotta hurry. Okay. I gotta hurry because my partner in crime is coming to pick up my legs. Okay, so here's the look. It's very all black everything in me. It's very, I mean business. It's very hand me the keys to the Rari. I'm wearing a black patent leather pump. Pump it, Pasha. Pump it up, Pasha. That's my nickname tonight. Pump it up, Pasha, because I'm wearing pumps. And I'm going to show you what it would potentially look like with a belt, because I'm thinking about belting it. I don't know yet. <sighs> I'm probably not going to do it. And I want to know you guys' thoughts on my dress. So a belt would look something like this. Something very thick. And I feel like it might be doing a lot, but that's like my middle name. So that's what a belt would look like. I like it because it gives us, you know, something different. Oh, the girls don't like a belt. The girls don't like a belt, but you know what? I'm here for it. Dang, y'all talking fast? <sighs> Girls don't like belts. Girls don't like belts. Girls don't like belts. Okay, fine. We ain't gonna belt in. But what her should we do? What her should we do, sis? Should we do all black like everything? Or do we want a gold moment to go with the gold button? Wow. So we're agreeing no belt, right? No belt. I agree. I don't think it needs a belt. I wanted a little more snatch Isha, but it's cool. I don't need it. It's fine. We'll do the belt some other time. Fine. 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 I'll do the gold bag just because you guys told me to. And I never listen to people. You're actually lucky. This is like the first time in like 30 years I've listened to anyone. It's time to take off our rag and show these half of us what time it is. Like for real, for real, what time it is. Oh, you know what I just realized? I should tilt my computer down so you can actually see the outfit in its entirety. So this is the black pump. Guys, we literally got ready together, like from start to finish. For once. That never happens ever. I always have to like end the video to like do things and get dressed and all that, you know. <laughs> Whoa, comments are going crazy. Whoa. Yeah, I think I should do the black bag too. I like the all black everything movement because I'm black. So there's always that <laughs> aspect of things. Um, but yeah, I'm not wearing earrings. I'm not really an earring girl. I may throw on like a chunky necklace or something. I don't know. If it depends on how, on, on a scale of Ben Baller, it just depends on how it'll look tonight. Just we'll see. So. I don't do chokers, I'm not a choker person. That's the look. She's very classy. She's giving you hand me the keys to the Rari. Okay. I'll leave you all to it. 
I hope you enjoyed this getting ready with us because it really wasn't a getting ready with me. It was getting ready with us. Get ready to get them. I'm going to throw on some hairspray, maybe a chunky necklace moment. And yeah, we'll see. We'll see how I feel. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I like how at the end everyone came back. Like, where are you guys at? What happened? Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you guys on the next live. Bye. I went from zero to hero. You like your shoulder pads, don't you? Mm -hmm. I like them too. Okay, bye.